My name is Mark Humphreys with Lincoln Lasher Cutting Systems and today we want to explain our arc fold to tight control and show you how to set it up. Maintaining a proper cut height above your metal plate is vital to an excellent cut quality. This has a direct correlation with the amount of bevel angle and dross accumulation on your finished parts coming off of the table. This is because the plasma arc is shaped like a bulb, so it's crucial to cut through the metal plate at the middle of the arc rather than at the top or the bottom. We ensure that the most optimal contact point between the plasma and the metal plate is maintained throughout the cut by sensing the arc voltage. The arc voltage is the measure of electrical potential between the electrode, the conception of the plasma, and the top of the metal plate, where the electricity completes the circuit. The greater the potential that is needed to cross this gap, the higher the reading of arc voltage. Think about it like this. As I walk away from you, I'm gonna to need to increase my volume in order to maintain the exact same conversation we've been having. However, as I draw closer, I'm gonna draw my volume in order to maintain the original level that we've established. This is exactly how the torch height control works to maintain the arc voltage. The voltage, or volume in this example, will grow as the distance is enlarged and will shrink when the gap starts to close. The Acumove controller senses this voltage and compares it to the original voltage that you previously set. If it finds a difference between the current voltage and the set voltage, it will adjust the Z-axis lifter station either up or down to match these measurements. Keep in mind that all of this is done in milliseconds. We do this to account for the metal plate irregularities and material warpage that can occur during the cutting process. As the metal plate warps up, the Acumove controller reads the shortened arc voltage and moves the Z-axis up to re-establish the previously set arc voltage. It will continue to adjust the Z-axis both up and down to maintain the programmed arc voltage. You can find the remainder of the height control inputs on the left hand side of the Visual Machine Designer interface. You'll find an auto and a manual switch at the very top. This button tells the height controller to use either the cut height input or the set voltage input programmed below. Switching it to manual will read from the cut height input and will not allow the torch to deviate from this height. Auto will reference the set voltage input and adjust the torch height control to maintain this voltage throughout the cut. As the arc voltage grows or shrinks, the Z-axis will adjust the torch height up or down to regulate the sensed voltage back to the programmed voltage. The pierce delay is a measure of time in seconds. It programs the controller with the amount of time that the plasma arc needs to fully pierce the material. Generally, the thicker the material, the longer the pierce delay. The pierce height is the distance above the plate where the plasma cutter initiates the pilot arc. It is always higher than the cut height to prevent molten metal from splashing back up into the torch head. The cut height is the plasma cutter's height above the plate that will achieve the best cut quality for the thickness and type of material that you're cutting. It's calculated to place the plasma arc through the material where the least amount of dross and bevel angle will result. There's also a new feature in Visual Machine Designer that allows the operator to sample the voltage. You can pre-program the suggested arc voltage from your plasma cutter's manual, or you can allow the Acumove controller to sample the voltage itself. Sampling the voltage lets the Acumove controller acquire arc voltage readings for the first half inch of the cut. This is all done at your pre-programmed cut height of say 0.06 inches above the plate. In the half inch cutting distance, the controller computes the average arc voltage reading and then assigns it to the duration of the cut. The height control is then activated to maintain this new sampled arc voltage. The controller will resample the voltage with every new pierce. If you have any questions about your Torchmate table's height control settings, feel free to give us a call at 775-673-2200.